So then we come on to the pressure triangle, which is the touch, the shape, the, the pressure map, and then the kinesthetic sense, the orientation, the posture. This is the pressure triangle. Pressure triangle is related to food, related to work, related to seeking objects and putting objects into, into position in our functioning. But in the sixth dimension is the sense of touch, the sense of pressure. So all sorts of pressure come under this, you know, psychological as well as, you know, physical. And that becomes a pressure, pressure map over time. And that pressure map becomes a shape. And then each shape has a taste, uh, uh, you know, for, for molecules. Or in bigger shapes, it's, it, the taste is uh, artistic, you know, aesthetic. And this is the scholar, the sco scholar has taste and knows the taste of everything. And the scholar, knowing about all the shapes, and the gentleman really responding delicately you know, to the touch. This is the realm of wood, of germinating objects, germinating seeds, the gardener. gardener. Remember, this is, as I said, this is the, a food triangle. This is you know, about hunting and gathering. So, you know, we, everything's integrated in our minds in these dimensions, obviously. This is the sixth dimension of touch. The seventh dimension is of shapes. You know, as we walk around, we come across objects in corners. This is the zigzag in top two. This is the taste. You know, salt and sugar, different a crystalline compound, different tastes, taste in different shapes, we put different shapes into our mouth to taste them, to identify them. And then when we, you know, then we become a scholar. The eighth dimension is heat, is energy, that an eight is actually a flame. And say so this is the driver, this is the engine, this is the, the, the uh, vehicle, this is the hunter, the, 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 the seeking. This is the sexual energy, again, being on heat. It's hunting for the sexual partner. You know, it's, uh, but it's also seeking objects. You know, the scrounger, if you remember from the Great Escape, you know, the scrounger, the hunter seeking objects. This is a, the heat, the pressure is about supply and demand, but we, you look at those on another time, you know, through all the different paths, you know, the properties of the huge subject, which builds up into our minds. So there's the eighth dimension. Eighth dimension is heat. So it's understanding that being aware of heat is different to the aware of light here in the in the vision, different to the dimension of sound. We have these different dimensions, different senses, and different personalities as responses in each dimension. And then finally we have the ninth dimension, because remember that's the zero dimension. So there's ten dimensions. This is the actor, you know, body language, the one who acts, the, the, the one who does something, the worker, the posture, you know, in yoga, the asana, in karate, the kata, you know, getting the right, you know, right posture, the right position to work, to steal yourself for ceaseless activity. And, and, and as I said, this is the vehicle. That, this is the vehicle, the body, the body language, the position. You know, reading body language. This is what these things are about. So that's the ninth dimension. So it's understanding that each of these nine dimensions has got a logical structure, and that this is the unique solution. And the unique solution to the structure, you know, these three big triangles, the pressure, 
which is the food, the uh, schedule, which is the audio signal, which is the uh, social life, the sexual life, and then the video signal, which gives rise to the driver. The, 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 the focus gives a point. As a group, we, we, this is the function of the secretary. In, in the spirit, if you like, uh, it, it's the self. This, the personality is the self. That's the point.